Okay, we're here at uh, gotomath.com and we're going to be looking at some algebra. I'm actually taking a break. Taking a break from calculus for just a little bit. I want to test out my new whiteboard. So we've got, uh, what do we got here? We got let A equal some set here and this says uh, find and we have uh, some absolute value bars A. All right. So I started doing an introduction video to enter in the introduction of sets. And I thought instead that I would just go ahead and kind of explain what a set is as we're going through these first few problems here. Let me click on this new feature I've added, the marker board. And at the present time, you can't really use it. Um, on like an iPad or something or an iPad or your phone or whatever because of the mouse events but uh, I've got to figure that out anyway but you can use a tab or you can use an external tablet like I'm using a bamboo um, and actually we're gonna click on that to make that a thinner make that a little thinner there and uh, I don't know let's use this so Okay, so let's talk about sets over here. Um, a set is nothing more than a collection of objects. All right, and these objects, we call these elements in the set. So these are known as elements, and their order doesn't matter. However, when we go to actually put the answer in up here, order is going to matter, and that just it gives me less of a headache having to deal with that. So what this notation means here is, is this means the size of A. In other words, how many elements are in A? Right, so let's count them. So we have one, two, three, four, five elements are in A. All right, so we could say that the size of A is equal to five. And five is, remember, the number of elements that are in A. So we just count them. Okay, and so we use curly brackets right here, or you could call these curly braces, whatever you want to call them. Uh, put our elements inside so we wouldn't do this All right this is not a set actually in JavaScript this is an array but whatever but this is not a set you must use curly brackets okay with the commas here and that's a set size 3 actually so if we said this is the set s then the size of set s if we were to actually ask for that there's three elements in NS. Okay, so these things are called elements. So in other words, two is an element of S. Two is an element of S, or you could say one and three are elements of S. Right. In this particular case up here, we could say, for example, sixty-nine is an element of A. All right. Now what about if I said, um, so we're kind of going a little past what this question is actually asking, but uh, we'll keep the time down here. Um, what if I were to say, uh, for example, 10 is an element of A? Well, 10 is actually not an element of A, and therefore we'll put a line through it, okay? So that means that 10 is not an element, an element of A. All right. Okay, well, I think enough has been said, and this should be able to answer the questions now. Okay. So, all right. We will uh, see you back at uh, gotomath.com, and you come here and practice your problems. We're here at gotomath.com looking at some algebra. Let's go down to sets and I believe we're doing 1.2 here. Oh, I know something I forgot to do and that was actually insert the uh, insert the answer in the last video in here. Just going to show you how that works. Okay, so we have, uh, let's just click on the marker board here and bring that up while we're at it. 
we have uh, the set A and the set B, and it says find, and what looks like an absolute value bar is this notation for sets means the size of A plus the size of B. Okay, so A, the size of A is equal to, so we come up here and count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it has six elements, and then we'll just write the size of B right over here. Count, uh, 1, 2. And what does this say? The size of A plus the size of B. So that's pretty easy, right? 6, 7, 8. I'm really thinking like a three-year-old could figure that out. Four-year-old, maybe five. Anybody can count? Count. Okay, so there it is. That's all you got to do. Now let's actually do what we didn't do in the last problem. Let's just demonstrate how this works. We just put our answer in, click the checkbox, and whoa, it says correct, right? Now if you get it wrong, uh, there's no way of finding out actually what it is. However, you could come up here. Maybe this could help you out, right? click on the actual answer here and sometimes these answers will differ and you'll know that because there will be a thing that says check check up here so this is a new feature I've added always adding something new new and improved anyway um, okay and then over here to the right it says time your time was one minute 22 seconds we can't see that right now and then it says target was 10 seconds so one minute 22 seconds. Oh, because I explained it down here, maybe. All right. Anyway, there it is. Um, that's all we're going to talk about in this video. Okay. We're here at gotomath.com working some algebra. Let's click on sets and let's go down to 2.1. All right bring up the marker board okay so we got a special note up here and this check means check it's a check mark right place elements in numerical order so um, in the uh, actually first problem that we talked about uh, remember there is not any order when it comes to sets you can write this in any order you want okay however for simplicity and to make things easier for grading it's just a whole lot easier uh, for me, that is, um, just type the stuff in uh, alphabetical order, please. All right. Okay. So we have a uh, an operation here. This is the union operation. And what union means is, well, you just join both A and B together. Join them both together. So let's just write this, write this out. Oh, uh, what do we want to use? Let's use that color there. Okay. So A union B is equal to, all right. So we take A, and I'm going to write 26 in here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and write the rest of them. We just, you just join them together. 43, 8, 6, and 14. So technically, this is an answer right here. However, like I said, um, up here in the box, we want to write these uh, in numerical order. It's just a whole lot easier. I guess I could write up a function or something, but for right now, let's do that. All right, so let's see. 6, 8, right? 14, um, 26 and 43. Right. Okay, like I said, order doesn't matter when we're writing uh, elements in a set, but just for this purpose here, we have to write it in alphabetical order. And it does say correct. Okay. So union, the union operator means you just join this set with this set here. Now, I guess now that that's said, maybe, maybe I should add something. Let's do an example here. Let's say, for example, we had the set 1, 2, 3, and then we've got another set, and we'll call it B, and let's say it's 1, how do you like them curly brackets? 1, 2, and 5. All right. 
where are we at? So we got the set B here. Okay, so here's another example. We have set A, set B. Now what we don't write is, whoops, what happened here? What's going on? Something. Ugh. I don't know what happened. A union B is equal to. Now what we don't write is repeating elements. So we know there's a 1 in A and a 1 in B, but we just write it one time. We don't write 1, 1 here. All right. And then, of course, there's a 2 in both of them. We're not writing it twice. And there's a 3 and then a 5. All right. So that actually turns out to be numerical order there. But remember, order doesn't matter, except when we're typing it into the box up here. All right. Just checking out what was going on down there earlier. Okay, so don't repeat elements. All right, don't repeat elements. Okay, all right, well, come to go to math.com. See. We're at gotomath.com. Let's click on the algebra and go down to sets. And we're going to be looking at 2 2. Go ahead and bring that up. So we're given two sets, A and B, and we want to find what looks like an upside down U here. This means find their intersection. We're going to find what A and B both have in common. All right, what do these both have in common? So let's go down here, and uh, what kind of color should I choose? How about this here? We'll try this out. So A intersect B is equal to, so what does A and B have in common? Well, let's look. There's a 12 in A. Is there a 12 over here in B? No. If there's a 10 in A. Is there a 10 over here in B? No. So guess what? They don't have anything in common. So this is known as the empty set. The empty set. And the empty set is also denoted with a circle and a line through it. And uh, so both these notations are the same. Okay, So this is the empty set. Let's say, for example, A was equal to, let's do another example here, 1, 2, and 4. And B is equal to, let's say, 3, 2, and 4. All right, what does A intersect B have in common? Well, there's a 1 in A, and there's not a 1 over here in B, so they don't have that in common. There's a 2 in A, and there's a 2 in B. So we'll write 2 in here. What about this one here? There's a 4 in A, and there's a 4 in B. Okay, so there's their intersection right there. But uh, since this is the answer, let's go up here and type that in. All right, no spaces, no spaces. And it says correct. Okay, that's good. All right. What about this one here? Let's just do this one real quick. 11, yep, there's 11. Let's go ahead and start typing this stuff in. So we got 11. Oh, wait a minute. Darn it, it's got to be in alphabetical order, I forgot, or numerical order. Let's see, is there a 5? No, 5 is 14. Yes, there actually is a 14. So far, we're in numerical order. 14, 15. No 15s. So, let's back up. That looks like what these two have in common is 11 and 14. 11, 11, 14, 14, and that's it. Let's hit check. And it is correct. Okay. All right. So there you go. Here's a little something new right here also. Okay. So you want to come on over to gotomath.com. Check that out. And maybe I will see you there. Bye. Hey, we're at gotomath.com. Working some algebra. I think I might have said calculus early, but that would have been um, a habit have been a habit. Let's actually click on the marker board here. 
Okay, what do we got? Place elements in alphabetical order. And those are definitely not alphabetical elements, or elements are not from the alphabet, so whatever. Maybe I need to change that. Okay, so we have the sets A and B, and we want to take their intersection. We want to take their intersection, so let's kind of come down here and, and uh, check that out. So we have A intersect B is equal to... All right, so let's look at this. A has a T. Is there a T over here? No. What about a Q? Q over here? No Qs. X is, oh, there is an X. Oh, but it has to be in alphabetical order. Let's look at some other stuff. H? No H's. Well, it doesn't matter. X is the only thing that they have in common in both A and B. So let's go up here. And let's type that in and check out, see if the program is correct. Right? X, and it says it's correct. Okay. So there you go. Um, A, F, L, R, C, no, Y, no. So that's going to end up being the empty set because they don't have anything in common. And that's correct also. Anyway, you got to come on by gotomath.com, check that out, and I'll see you there. All right, if you don't know, you're at gotomath.com or you're watching it from somewhere, and that's where I am. I think we're doing a 3.2. 3.2 and let's click on the marker board there and place elements in alphabetical order. Of course those are numeric values up there. We're taking their union now. Do we remember what that is? I think we worked a problem like this earlier. So we have A union B is equal to so we just join what's in both A and B together and of course they want uh, alphabetical order so we better put O here and U here. O I think is uh, what the 15th letter of the alphabet Wait a minute. yeah and U is the 20 I always forget this the 23rd letter I think let's see T no T is 20 21 whereas T U I guess it's 21st letter of the alphabet yeah 21st letter anyway 15, 21st, okay, well, whatever. All right, so there it is. Let's go up here and see how that works out. Hopefully it will. O, comma, U. It's kind of an opportunity to make, for me to go through and check, make sure the programming is correct. And it is correct. That's correct, and that's correct, okay. All right. Okay, quickly, what about this one here? Um, you're just joining them um, all together here in alphabetical order. So it looks like A. Now remember, sets don't are don't have an order, but for all intents and purposes, this is the way we're doing it uh, here on this website. It just makes things a whole lot easier. All right, we have A. What's next? Um, what I've forgotten. Okay. So the fourth letter of the alphabet's a D. And what do we have next? F is the sixth letter of the alphabet. Um, H is the eighth letter of the, whoops, H, not eight. Um, L is the twelfth letter. M is the thirteenth letter, L, M. Right, so we have three, we have six all together. One, two, three, four. And that's the 1st, the 4th, the 6th, the 8th, the 12th, and the 13th. Boom. Correct. Okay. All right. Take their union means you just join them. Whatever these sets are, you just join them together. All right. Well, listen up. Come on by. Go to mat.com, and I'll see you there. We're going to math.com. Click on the algebra. Let's go down to sets. And I believe we are we are here. That's where we are. It says let A equal PI 
B equal RDN and C equals HT. Um, you might actually get a word here like hut <laughs> or some three letter word, who knows, two letter word, uh, because these are just randomly chosen from the alphabet. So you never, you never know what might come up in this stuff. All right. Just warning you. Um, okay. So it's asking us to find, let's come up over here. Yeah, I had a word or two come up. I'm thinking, how? what's the probability of that? Anyway, I should probably block certain words out. So the way this works is, what do we want to use? Let's use green. This just makes it so much easier to select letters. I got kind of tired of uh, trying to search for whiteboards on the Internet, and, and so I went ahead and wrote some script for my own and everything's working out. However, this can't be used at the moment on an iPad or iPhone. It, it's not a screen touch event, it's a mouse touch event or a touch event. It's not a touch event, it's a mouse event and that's the reason. So I'm using a bamboo, adding to all this, a, a bamboo tablet that I'm actually writing on. Alright, so it's something I need to get fixed. Okay, what do we got? Find A union B union C so A union plus I don't have to re, re you know write this stuff down on a piece of paper and then anyway it saves a whole lot of time. More time for me to jab, yab and jab. Let's do this one first because we're gonna do what's in parentheses first and then right take their union. Okay? So just like in multiplication and the order of operations, do what's in parentheses first. So that's what we're gonna do. So B union C is equal to, now remember what union is. Union means you're going to just join both B and C together. Okay, so let's do that. RDN, all right, so R, D, I kind of like this green. R, D, N, uh, H, T. So we don't have to write this stuff right now in uh, alphabetical order. Of course, remember that's only for plugging it into the box up there. But uh, we'll just do it like this for right now. And then pi, or pi, that does look like pi, doesn't it? The Greek letter pi. A is equal to pi. Now, so now what we're going to do is, and you know what? I'm going to write it out like this. Pi uh, union R D N H T. Okay. And what are we doing? We're taking their union. Taking their union. So that means you just join them all together. And of course, if we had elements that were the same in both sets, you wouldn't rewrite them twice. Okay. So we have P I R D N H and T. R D N H T. Of course, you need to uh, write this in. Uh, if we're going to put it in the box, it needs to be written in alphabetical order. Okay, so you have to put this in some type of uh, in some type of order. And so let's see, uh, D is the fourth letter of the alphabet, so we'll put D here. All right, um, the fifth, sixth, let's see. Uh, uh, I guess H is next. H is the eighth letter. Um, What's next? That's the ninth letter, right? I is the ninth letter of the alphabet. And see, P is the 16th, R is the 18th. So P, um, R, oh, whoa, 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 clear. Oh my God, I didn't mean to do that. I can't believe I did that. I'm a titty race. I need a back button on here. A back button. Okay, forget it. Anyway, you understand the problem. Okay, type it in. Be done with it. Let's just hit the answer here. Should have been what we had anyway. Uh, so basically, it's just joining all this stuff together here. And um, I'm actually checking to make sure this is in alphabetical order here in the programming. So 4th, 9th, 14th, 16th, 18th, and 20th. Okay. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Anyway, I can't believe I did that. I need a back button. Wonder how I could program that. 
All right, so come on by go2math.com, check that out. And I'll We're at go2math.com. Click on the algebra. Let's go down to sets. And I think we are here, which, let's see, 4.2. Yeah, I believe that's it. Uh, looks a lot like 4.1 actually okay so in the last problem I hit clear before we could check the answer but we checked it anyway so what's going on here well let's actually scroll down and let's choose some colors here and do that um, we have a union B union C and what we're going to do first is what's in parentheses first, and then we'll take the union with the rest of it. Okay, so A union B. So this means, remember, we just join what's in both A and B, join them together. Okay, But we don't repeat elements. So we have a T, a Q, um, an E. Now you notice we have an E over here, so we don't write the E twice, and then an A, and what do we got? An X, and a K. Alright, so that's A union B. Just join both those sets together. Just make sure we don't repeat elements. Now we're going to union that with C, union that with C, and we can actually write this like this this here so E just rewriting everything A X K and we're going to union that with C and C is Jax J A so that's almost a word isn't it or a name or something Jax okay and of course when you uh, let's see what what's repeating let's just write that down a is repeating, X is repeating, but J is not repeating. So really what we got going on here is T, Q, E, um, A, X, K, no need to write an A again or X again, and J. All right. But we want to make sure that we write this in... Uh, up there in the box, we're going to write it in alphabetical order. However, that is the correct answer right there, okay? Um, but we need to write it in alphabetical order. So let's write it in alphabetical order. A is the first letter of the alphabet. Uh, let's see, I think it'd be an E then, right? And, you know, as we do this, I'm going to cross some stuff off. So A, and then we got E. All right, okay. Uh, probably just use the same color. A, E, what's next here? Uh, that's the 11th, that's the 10th, right? 10th letter, J, K. 10, 11. Um, I think it's going to be Q is uh, 17. Letter T is 20. No. Let's see. I forget to write this, cross this stuff off. Um, Q already got that, right? Uh, T and X, T and X. Okay, it's a little time consuming to do that, but. And so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, that should be it right there. Um, we're not going to hit the, we're going to type all that in, but you can type it in if you want. We'll just check that with the answer there. So we got A, E, J, K, Q, T, and X. Okay. So there you go. All right. So come on by, go to math.com. See you there. Bye. Okay, we're here at go2math.com looking at some algebra, and actually we have started with sets. Uh, the most basic stuff of mathematics. 
the basic mathematical language. Let's see, we're doing 5.1, so let's click on that one there. That's a message board if you want to write something. You got something on your mind. All right. Place in alphabetical order. Okay, so we've got to find... Um, let's see, what do we want to do here? Some gold. We want to find A intersect B union C. So let's take a look at this. So B union C. This is what we're going to do first because this is in parentheses here. All right, so that's Buck, isn't it? Bucky. Anybody know him? Uh, QJPXI. And C is just has R in it. So remember, we joined both those sets. So both, that's a Q there, by the way. Uh, J, P, X, and I, and add R to it. Add R to it, okay? Now, we're taking A, intersect that. So, A is, uh, you know what? we got all kinds of time. Let's just write it out. T, L, you may not have all kinds of time. I don't know. C, Usually, if you're in school or something, you probably don't have a whole lot of time. I know I never did. All right, intersect. Um, everything was a mad rush. J. Uh, P. X. I. And R. Okay. Now, intersection means what does what's in this set? What does this set have in common with this set here? Well, let's take a look. Here's a T. Is there a T over here? Nope. L. Is there an L over here? No. A Z. No Z's either. C. Nope. Don't have one of them either. A Y. Doesn't look like there's a Y over here anywhere. Darn it. A B. Doesn't even have a B. What's the probability that uh, this answer is the empty set? That's the question. Well, anyway, it looks like it's the empty set. So there you go. We'll come up here and actually type that in. And hopefully there was no mistakes made. Doesn't look like it. We're going to go ahead and hit the answer here so you can kind of see what that actual answer is. Even though I'm just typing, said so just type that in the box. All right. So there you go. You do what's in parentheses first, right? and then go from there okay so come on by go to math.com see you there bye so we're at go to math.com looking at some algebra I almost said calculus I've been doing that for quite some time um, okay I believe that's gonna be the one we're looking at right there and let's click on the marker board go on down what do we got going on here so we're gonna do what's in parentheses first so let's get both of those guys first and then take their union so let's just do that All right. and uh, let's actually use some color over here how's that so let's do uh, a how do you like that different color every minute a intersect B. So let's see. A intersect B. What is in A that's also in B? Well, let's take a look. First, we'll start with uh, some squiggly brackets here. An R. Well, look at there. There is an R there, believe it or not. I'm actually surprised. H. No H's. N. No N's. E. No E. L. No there. Oh, there is an M. What's the probability that their intersection has two elements? There will be a nice section somewhere on this website of finding these kind of probabilities are fun to do. And we're going to be using a computer a programming language to figure that out. Get an approximation anyway. Anybody can understand it, I promise. Um, it's a very handy tool because calculating probabilities can be exponentially difficult depending on how that question is asked. But anyway, let's look at this. 
Okay, A intersects C. What is in A? It's also in C. Well, there's only one thing in C, and that's a D. So is there a D over here anywhere? Don't see one, so guess what? That is the empty set. That's right. A intersects C has nothing in common. That's what I told my last girlfriend. We, our intersection is empty. Yeah, she didn't quite understand what I was talking about, but anyway. Uh, where are we at here? So now we're going to take the union of both of these, right? So let's do that. Yes, our intersection is empty. You can use that on your next argument with uh, your girlfriend, wife, or whoever. So we take the union of both of these. Well, taking the union of a non-empty set with an empty set just gets back this non-empty set, R, M. How's that? gets back rm now remember up here in the box we want to type that in alphabetical order so m actually comes before r so let's do that m comma r hold our breath maybe not too long Ooh, correct all right correct okay of course you can always click on that can't figure it out all right Anyway, there it is. You know where to come find me. I'm over here at gotomath.com. See you there. Okay, we're here at gotomath.com. Click on the algebra. Let's go to sets. And we are working our way right on down through here. Um, a union B intersects C. Did I not do that one already? Seems like I swore I did. Maybe I didn't. Hmm. Who knows? Okay. Here we are. Let's actually bring up the whiteboard there. So let's look at this one here. B intersect C. B intersect C. So what does B and C have in common? Kind of like that blue color there. Try that thickness. So B intersect C is equal to. What does B and C have in common? Let's take a look. Y, is there a Y over here? No P, no P. Um, I, that's not an I. Z, no Z. K, no K either. So guess what? Their intersection is empty. So we just put empty brackets there. Now, A, what is A? W, P, C, A. W, P, C, A. Union, the empty set. What do we get? We get W, P, C, A. Right. But up in the box, we want to make sure we write that in alphabetical order, okay? So that set is actually the same thing as writing A, C, uh, P. It's the 16th letter of the alphabet. W is the 23rd, all right? No, 23rd, W, or 24th letter. Let's get those mixed up. W, X, Y, Z. No, the 23rd, okay. A, C, P, W. Let's write it in up here. A, C, P, W. A, C, P, W. Correct. It says correct. You can always click the answer if you don't know. Right? Okay. So there it is. You can come on by gotomath.com. Practice, practice makes perfect. See you later. We're at uh, gotomath.com. Let's click on the algebra. Go down to sets. And we're looking at 6.2, I believe. I do believe. Let's click on the marker board. <clears throat> All right, some more letters we're dealing with here. Let A equal all of that stuff. B equal that, C equal that. Find A union B intersect A union C. Yikes. So you know their intersection can have something in it. All right. 
and let's go with uh, the kind of like a green there. So we'll do A union B first. Let's do that one first. So A union B. Oh my gosh. Um, all right. So we have H M A. I'll just rewrite it. A basically G uh, F B and P. All right. Did, what I did was there an X over here? No. So write an X in over here. A B. Uh, yes. We don't need to rewrite that. An R. Is there an R? No, there wasn't an R. R. X kind of got out of place there. An O. No O's. But I don't run out of room. K. No K either. A V. No V. I feel like I'm playing Wheel of Fortune. Okay, let's now look at uh, A Union C. So A Union C. All right, so we just rewrite A here. M A G F B and P. All right, and C. So was there a G? Yeah, we already wrote one of those. An I, no I. Uh, an F. Yes, there was an F. Don't rewrite that. And there was a W, I think, somewhere, wasn't there? No, no W's. I might be thinking of another problem. All right. Now we're taking their intersection. So what does A union B have in common with A union C? Well, let's take a look at this. Uh, they do have an H in common. So we'll write that right here. They have an H in common. Do they have an M in common? Yes, obviously. An M in common. An A, they have an A in common. Uh, a G, they got that in common. An F, they've got an F in common. Um, a B, they got a B in common. Yes, they do. Uh, P, they got a P in common cross those off. Uh, they don't have an X. Nope. Let's see. Let's look at this one here. IW. Is there an I or a W in here? No, there's not. So that's it. That looks like what they got going on there, right? Okay. And of course, up there in the green box, we want to write this in alphabetical order. So that would be A. We'll cross that off since we're done with that. Uh, B. Um, cross that off. Let's see, that would be six, seven, eight, actually. Six, seven, and eight. And M. All right, so that should be the answer. Let's click up here on the answer and see what we got going on here. We got A, B, F, G, H. M and P. I forgot the damn P and there it is right there. How did how did I not see that? We'll have to sneak that in there. Alright. So there it is. So you can go ahead and type that in up there if you want. Um, save some time here. We're here at, uh, look here, I'm going to highlight it in a different color. We're here at uh, gotomath.com. You want to come on by, check that out. See you later. Okay, we're here at gotomath.com. Let's click on the algebra and go to sets. We're down at 7.1. What in the world is that? And let's click on the marker board there. Bring that up so I got something to write on. What is this? What is that? Place elements in alphabetical order. Uh, I guess I need to change that to numerical order, don't I? Okay. What says alphabetical order? Huh. Who knows? I need to change that. Um, in fact, I need to write that down. So this notation here is... Uh, 
this is a minus b. I mean, you could say that. You're going to take the set A and throw out, you're going to throw out um, B, okay? We're going to throw B completely out of there, all right? So if it looks like B entered the room, this says toss B out, basically. It's basically kind of what it says. We're going to toss it out, all right? So A minus B. All right, so let's take a look at this. We have 7 and 14 is in A. Is there a 7 or a 14 in B? And guess what? There is. There's a 7 in... There's a 7 in B, and there's a 7 in A, so we want to toss this 7 out. And what are we left with? Well, there's not a 14 over here. The only thing we're left with is 14. See that? That's how easy that is. That's all we're left with is 14. So let's come up here. Let's type this in. 14. And let's hit the click button, correct. Let's go up here, click answer. Let's make sure it agrees there. Yeah. Okay. Pretty simple. Actually, we've got plenty of time. Let's do another one. Let's clear the board. Um, let's actually do another. There. There's something there. All right, let's, let's just get this done here. So we have A minus B. So we look at what's in A, and if there's any elements in A that are also in B, like, for example, there's a 10 in B and a 20 in B. Is there a 10 over here? Yep. Is there a 20 over here? Nope. So the only thing we're going to throw out over here is the 10. So we have 11, 16, 4, and 14. Okay. So there you go. All right, do you understand that? Hopefully you understand that. Um, and of course you want to come up here and type that in numerical order. All right, that's definitely not numerical order, but let's go ahead and click on the answer here. All right, so we got 4, 11, 14, and 16. And the answer I go ahead and have in numerical order. All right, but it's not necessary. Remember, this is the answer also. Okay, no order does not matter. I gotta repeat that over and over again because people go to their teacher and be like, he said it has to be written in numerical order and it doesn't have to, only on this website and in this box. Is that clearly understood? I hope so. <sighs> All right, let's on, come on by, go to math practice. See you later. All right, we're here at gotomath.com. Click on the algebra section. Let's go to sets. And we're down here at 7.2, 7 7.2, okay? 7.2, let's click on the marker there, board. All right. Fine, B minus A, B minus A. Um, so we're going to take a look at B, whatever's in B, right? And we're going to toss elements out of B as long as those elements come from A. Does that make sense? I don't know if it makes sense or not. Let me just write it out. So B minus A is equal to, okay. So we look at B, right? Look over here. Now, let's look at all the elements that are in A, and if they're in B, we're going to toss them out of B. For example, there's a 6 in A, and there's a 6 in B. So we want to toss 6 out of B. 12. Toss 12 out. Uh, two. Actually, this is kind of hard to. Uh, what's another way of doing this? Let's see. Let's get the eraser out. And actually, let's just clear the darn board. Um, draw. Okay. Let me write. Uh, let's let's do this. Let's write B over here. Twenty. Yeah. Let's do this. Twenty. That was getting conf confusing. Try to remember that. 19, 6, 7, 10, and 12. Okay. Now, we'll use a different color here. Let's use uh, blue, light blue. All right. 20, 16, 19, 6, 7, 10, and 12. Okay. Let's go over here. Let's look at A. We're, so we're looking at B, and we're going to minus A, right? If there's an element in A that's in here, we're going to subtract it out. So there's a 6. Let's get rid of it. A 12, let's get rid of that. A 2, OK, 
Okay, we got to worry about that. Fives, any fives in here? No, 17s, no, 17, 20. Whoa, he's gone. And 18, no 18s. All right, so what exactly are we left with? Well, this is our B minus our A. And we're left with a 16, 19, 7, and a 10. So that's what we're left with. Right, remember, up in the box, you want to write those in numerical order. But uh, that's it. Let's click the answer here and see how they work that out. Hopefully, same things that we got, except there's an alphabetical order. Okay, numerical order, I mean. 7, 10, 16, 19. 7, 10, 16, 19. Yep, checks out. That's good. Listen up. Come on, come on by GoToMath.com. Check that out, and I'll see you later. <sighs> We're here at GoToMath.com. I zoned out there for a second. And click on Algebra, then Sets, and where are we? Oh, we're down here, 8.1. Let's click on that. And click on the marker board. Let's see, check answer yes or no. Yes or no. All right, any particular colors? How about brown? Do brown? We'll try it out. Is A a subset of B? Is A a subset of B? Well, actually, let me give you some uh, examples before we answer that and see if you can answer this. So, for example, 3 and 8 is actually a subset of B. See, we have 3 and 8 in there. You see that? Um, actually, uh, to see, 8, 2, one and seven is actually a subset of B, right? Um, the uh, uh, where are we at here? So what do you think? You think three is a subset of B? Well, let's let's do one more. Eight is a subset of B. Eight's a subset of B. So what do you think? You think three is a subset of B? or 3. A is a subset of B. And guess what? Well, I don't know. That was an example on how to answer the problem, but yes. Alright. A is a subset, obviously, of B. Let's take a, another look at another one here real quick. Clear that. Is A a subset of B? 3, 2, 1, 6, 7 is 3, 2, 1, 6, 7 in B and obviously I mean all of these elements must be in in B and they're not they're not right so to answer that we would say no and we are correct that actually kind of confused me when the word correct came up for some reason I don't know why but no no that's obviously not a subset of B 813, is that a subset of B? Well, there's a 1, and no, obviously not. 5 and 6, yes, 5 and 6 is a subset of B. And here's some uh, notation. I have you answer yes or no up here, but A is a subset of B. What does this underlined thing mean? Well, the underlined piece means it could be also, A could actually be equal to B. Okay, A could actually be equal to itself. It could be a subset of itself. Alright. And uh, it is. A is a subset of B. Okay. Alright. Hopefully you understand that. Subsets. Sets and subsets. Okay. We're at gotomath.com. Click on the algebra. Let's go down to sets. Speaking of sets, I've been setting too long. Um, I believe we're doing 8.2 here. We just forget what the heck we're doing. I think I talked about sets and proper subsets or something like that earlier. No, I didn't mention nothing about a proper subset, did I? 
Maybe I'll throw that in here in a second. We got let b equal to seven, six, eight, three, one is six an element of b. So if you've been following along, you should know the answer to this question. Six an element of b, and you could write it like this: six is an element of b, and that is look for it here. These are all elements of the set, okay? And six is in B, and if 6 is in B, then 6 is an element of B, so that is true. And uh, actually, we're answering yes or no, is 6 an element of B? Yes, obviously, let's just go ahead and type yes and see what happens. All right. Make sure everything's correct, correct, click up here, answer, okay. So as you can see here, this notation. Now, let's uh, talk about it for a second. For example, 10. Is that an element of B? I should have used yes or no, but 10 an element of B? No. 10 is not an element of B. Right. So we go, boop, put a line through it. Okay, 10 is not an element of B. Let's see if we can get one to come up that's not an element of B. Let's clear that, and uh, as you can see there, so four is not an element of B, as you can see here. Okay, not an element of B. Now I'm gonna uh, just do an example here of something here. Let's say we had the set A, and let's say in the set A we had a set that contained the set one, and a set that contained the set one and two. And let's say the set that contained 7. Okay. Is 1 an element of A? The answer to that question is no. Okay. No. We'll have to use a different color here. No. Right? 1 is not an element of A. Your elements are sets themselves. Okay. So for example, 1, 2 is an element of A. 1, 2 is an element of A. Is that confusing or what? But uh, it is. Okay. All right. What about this one here? Is a subset of A. Is this a subset of A? And to answer that, no. If we're going to write, this is an element, you see, this is just an element, okay? You have to write, you've got to do this, put it in set notation. You see that, put it in brackets. Now this, all right, is actually a subset of A, so now we can write yes. All right, that's a true statement. This is a subset of A, okay? All right. So we went a little past what we were supposed to be talking about here, but and the reason for that is because I should have probably talked about it earlier. Okay, so that's a little extra bonus there. All right. Um, okay. Well, anyway, we're over here at gotomath.com. You need to come on by, check that out, talk to me. See All right, we're over here at gotomath.com. Let's click on the algebra and go down to sets. And I believe we're down here at 9.1, 9.1. 9.1, what is going on? Check elements, place elements in numerical order. Yeah, okay, use the universal, universal set. All right, um, better bring that up. Okay, so back when we did uh, A minus B, if everybody remembers that, this is the same thing as saying U minus A. In other words, we're going to take what's in U and subtract out whatever's in A. Did I say that right? Right. If we can find elements that are that are in A that are also in U, we want to make sure we subtract them out. And uh, so, in other words, this is also, it says find the complement of A, 
you may there's a lot of different notations on this but I'm using a complement alright so when we say a complement there must be an underlying universal set hiding around somewhere okay but we've done this before so this is similar I mean this is the same thing saying U minus A here alright so first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna write U out alright let's just do that five six four three seven one eight nine and two okay and then we'll use another color we're gonna come over here we want to get rid of four six and five so let's come through here and look at it well hell there they are right there they were all up front weren't they four six and five we got rid of them okay and now we're going to uh, go ahead and say U minus A. We subtracted them out. Um, I should be saying A complement here, actually. Uh, three, in other words, that notation, because that's what I use. Three, seven, one, eight, nine, and two. And of course, to insert them into the green box up here, I want to type those in numerical order. All right. I'll just click on the answer here and uh, okay so we got one two three seven eight nine one two three seven eight and nine there it is alright and of course I'm using this notation here okay the complement of a the complement of a a complement however you want to say it alright okay so here we are we're at gotomat.com come on by check it out see you later We're at gotomath.com. Click on the algebra. Let's go down to sets. And where are we? I think we're here. That's where we are. Click on the marker board there. Place elements in the universe. Universal set. Okay. So, AC. What is that? What is that? What is that? Let's do uh, these two guys here. So this reads A complement. And it's also the same thing as saying U minus A. Okay, so if you've done this earlier, B minus A, take the set U and subtract out whatever's in A that's also in U. Subtract out whatever's in A that's also in U. Yeah, okay. Anyway, and the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to write U out over here first. So we have 3, 8, nine one six five two four and seven okay all right and we're going to subtract out so let's do that we'll use a light color here so three seven and two that's what we want to toss out we're going to toss out the three there's a seven there and a two now there's something I guess that needs to be said here and that is that this set should always be a subset of U. Okay, I remember when I was first programming this um, that wasn't the case but I'd go and make some changes but anyway the way this works is, is A is always going to be a subset of U. Okay, A is going to always be in here somewhere. All right. And so now we're left with, uh, and I'll write a complement here. Actually, let's go back to our original color. A complement. We'll rewrite that. And so we're left with eight, nine, one, six, five, and four. Okay. Um, yeah, eight, nine, one, six, five, and four. So there is a complement. We'll come up here, check that out, make sure all that works out good. All right, and of course we need to write, you know, write it up there in that green box, write it in numerical order. So we have one, four, five, six, um, eight, and nine. Okay, looks good there. A complement. All right, so come on by, go to math.com.
Okay, we're here at GoToMath.com. Let's click on the algebra, go down to sets, and I believe we're going to be doing 10.1 here. All right. Let x equal HOD. That's almost a word somewhere. Um, it says find the size of the power set of x. The size of the power set. So some of the very first problems we talked about finding the size of a set. Remember that was the number of elements that are actually in the set. But we're talking about the power set here. Okay. And um, what exactly is that? The power set. H O. The power set of X. Well, the power set is all the subsets, including the set itself and the empty set. All right. And the actual formula is 2 to the n, 2 to the n, where um, 2 to the n, and n is the number of elements that are actually in the set. And we label the power set with a funky p here. All right. This is considered to be the power set. And of course, remember these vertical bars here is that it says, okay, what is the size of the power set? So we're going to actually construct the power set. All right. The power set of X. And the power set of X is this. So believe it or not, the empty set is in here. Okay. Um, we have the set H, the subset H. The subset O, the subset D, it's all the possible subsets of this set. Right, D. Um, Alright, so now let's do all the subsets with two elements, an H and an O. And you wouldn't write an O and an H, okay, because order doesn't matter. And then we'll write H and D. And let's just continue this down here. And an O and a D. Okay, those are all the possible subsets with two elements. And of course, we got all the possible subsets with only one element, all the possible subsets with two elements, and then the set itself. The set itself. What is N? I forgot to say. N is actually equal to right the size of x the size of x is 3 so this becomes 2 to the third um we need to go ahead and close that up right there don't we okay so to find the number of elements in the power set you just use the formula 2 to the third and what is that that's 8 right 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 let's count them 1 2 3 4 5 six, seven, eight. What do you know? What do you know? So the empty set and the set itself and the set itself, right, is uh, is always going to be obviously in the power set and then you got to go through all the combinations. All the combinations, okay? So that's how you construct the power set but it's asking us what is the size of that power set and you get it from this formula here 2 raised to however many elements are in the set All right and that's going to be 8 let's go ahead and just type that in since that's real easy correct let's hit the answer up here make sure so as you can see here this is the actual notation okay if you're asking for the size of the power set but we now know the formula it's 2 raised to the n and n was 3 Easy enough. Okay. So come on by over here, go to math.com. See you there. We're at go to math.com. Click on the algebra. Let's go down to sets. And we're down here at 10.2. Looks like the last problem for this section. Click on the marker board there. Alright. So we have the set X. And we're asked to find the power set of X. The power set. So in the previous problem, we talked all about that. 
right? Um, this is actually a really big set, and it would take us a long time to actually write out the power set. So I was going to write out the power set, but my God, that's there's a good one to write out the power set. So we have the set X is equal to, and you'll know what I'm talking about here in just a second. So if we were to write out the power set, the power set of x is equal to... So the thing about the power set is, first thing, the empty set, it's all possible subsets of this set. All right. So the empty set is always in the power set. And then we go through. Well, O is a subset. Q is a subset. And then the set itself, of course, is a subset. So one thing about the power set, it's not a proper subset. And uh, I'm not sure, the only thing about a, a, a difference between a set or, you know, a proper subset doesn't, uh, a proper subset doesn't contain the set itself. Okay, that makes sense. And then OQ. See, this subset here is actually a, is, is not a proper subset of that. That's proper subset, proper subset, right? Okay. Now, the formula is 2 to the n. Where does n come from? n is equal to, right, uh, this guy right here. Remember, these bars here say what's the size of x, and the size of x in this case, what the heck's going on here? we got some issues going on here. Anyway, the size is 2, right? And so this ends up becoming, um, my cursor is not doing good. Anyway, this becomes ends up becoming 2 to the n, where n is 2, and so 2 to the 2 is 4. 2 to the 2 is uh, is 4. Pen's not working right. And, well, I about push the clear button again. So 2 to the raised to the 2 power is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, as you can see there. Okay, let's just click the answer. All right. Type that in, whatever you want to do there. Okay, so we're at, uh, whoa, I still had it on erase. Yeah, my, my uh, for some reason, wow, I just erased the GoToMath. <laughs> anyway, we're over here at GoToMath.com trying to figure out what's going on with my pen. And uh, come on by, check it out, see you later.